Hello everyone, it's Lenny. Welcome to my channel. It's May 27th, Wednesday, and two days ago, the state of emergency was lifted in entire Japan, and yesterday I was finally able to go out properly. And I went to Meiji Shrine and Harajuku. And this year is actually a very important year for both places. So I'd like to take you there on my video, and I hope you like it. On the train, I noticed some people chose not to take a seat, even if there are some spaces to maintain the social distancing. This is Harajuku Station, the oldest station in Tokyo. It was built 114 years ago. Since it's old and failed to meet fireproof standards, there is a plan to demolish and rebuild it. But elements of its design will be incorporated in a new nearby commercial building. I saw the vending machine looking like this only in Harajuku so far. And this is the new station. The old station was planned to demolish after Tokyo 2020 Olympic and Paralympic Games, but I'm not sure about the current plan now. Okay, let's go to Maid Shrine. The entrance of the shrine is just around the corner. Guys, so I've just arrived at Mage Shrine. You can see the big tree e gate here, and I will take you to a very quiet and peaceful walk. Tree e is the entrance to the sacred area of the shrine, so we always bow before entering the gate. We also try to avoid walking in the middle, as it's believed to be the path for Kami, the Shinto god. is graveled. You can walk the paved sidewalk because it's easier to walk there, but the gravels were used to cleanse the sacred area. So try to enjoy the sound that cleans and calms your mind. Again, try to avoid walking in the middle of the road. Meiji Shrine was established in 1920 to commemorate the virtue of Emperor Meiji and Empress Shoken, we took the initiative to make a foundation of modernized Japan. So there will be 100 year old anniversary on November 1st. This is a man made forest created by volunteers who planted some 100,000 trees of 365 different species donated by people around the nation. There are many sake barrels being displayed as offerings to the shrine, and as Emperor Meiji was known to have enjoyed wine, Many wine barrels were offered by friends and displayed. Meiji Shrine is one of the most famous Shinto shrines in Japan. Actually, 3 million people visited for this year's first prayers called Hatsumode, more than any other shrines or temples in Japan. It opens from the sunshine to the sunset. So it opens at 5 a.m. and closes at 6 p.m. in May. 
we rinse our hands and mouth before going into the shrine. Usually, there are many people in the afternoon, so I recommend you to visit in the morning. It's very quiet and the air is so fresh in the morning. Since the state of emergency was just lifted, the shrine was very empty. Visitors can take part in typical Shinto activities such as making offerings at the main hall, buying charms and amulets. These are Emma, the wooden plates. People write down their wishes and hopes and hang it here. I saw many Emma in various languages. Some omikuji. omikuji here features waka poem written by Emperor Meiji and Empress Shoken. It was a good, refreshing time. Now, let's go to Harajuku, the Japanese pop culture place. Usually, it's very busy and packed on this Takeshita street, but it was very empty. But one thing we can't ignore was the crepes. Must have sweets in Harajuku. Got um, crepe with strawberry, chocolate, and whipped cream. Itadakimasu. Mm. <laughs> it's very yummy, but not healthy. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's it for today. I hope you have enjoyed my video. I'll leave the link of the official website of Meiji Jinknu that gives you all the information you need how to access etiquette and its precinct map that helps you make the best visiting experience. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more discovery of Japan. And see you next time. Bye!